this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Now that we've examined all of those, uh, weights, or whatever they are, we gotta put them on the scale there. Now, I thought that you had to examine the weights in order for those four options to become available, but uh, someone was saying I did. I thought you did, so that's why I was doing it in the last episode, and... Well, why I ended up being a little short on time. Maybe I could have gone through this otherwise, but... But anyway, you put the three heaviest weights on there, and Sid can make his way up there. All right! So yeah, make it to the hourglass, and there you go! After that minigame. Well, maybe it wasn't as hard as I made it out to be, but, you know, it's irritating. You got that, Fiores? Is he breaking the fourth wall? Well, anyway, yeah, we made it out alive, so... Didn't want to, like... I don't know, go through everything too quickly or whatnot. Hail, screw! I, I mean, uh, uh, Princess Garnett. Hmm, I wonder what other, like, unique lines of dialogue you get with different lines of characters. I'm not going to show every single different combination, just so you know, viewers. Some people were asking me whenever we do split party scenarios, uh, you know, but uh, I'll do what I can. But, you know, in this case, no, definitely not. Oh. Hm. Well, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Well, it's nice to know that you care about Zidane now, after he, you know, risked his life to try and save you. Is Sid in my party? No. No, we only get four party members at a time. He's just, I don't know, maybe he went into Dagger's dress. I don't know. But anyway, now we can go back in this room and find a Moogle there. What's a Moogle doing in this place? Well, I'll, I'll deliver the letter for you all the same. Hmm. Really, though, why is a Moogle in Kefka or Kuja's... <laughs> yeah, I wish it was Kefka. No, Kuja's palace or whatever this place is. Uh, oh, okay, it's just an ordinary palace. Okay. Well, anyway, I want to take a moment to rearrange my setup, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, just one thing I want to show you. Some people requested that I show some of the new equipment that I've gotten. You know, some of the defense values. Like, look at that! 41 defense on the white robe. 40, or light robe. 42 on the white robe. Uh, 47 on the black robe. Holy cow! Well, probably 42. With the protect ring probably adds some defense. But still, and Steiner, 21. Okay, maybe with uh, Demon's Mail 29, but the mages have more defense than my knights do. It's ridiculous. Uh, by the way, one other thing. Uh, I have Steiner on the Medane's Ring instead of the Reflect Ring for him to work on that because uh, he really needs Body Temp, or you really want Body Temp because a lot of the enemies can inflict the Heat status on you, and that would be really bad. So let's see what we got here at the Desert Palace. Now, if you had Aiko with you, she'd be leading. If you have her in the other party, well, then Steiner would lead. But anyway, remember what the Black Mages were telling us? We have to turn them all on. So essentially, we got to turn on the the candles there. I'm well, not really turning them on, but... And then grab this Bloodstone here. Uh, we'll learn more about what that does later, but most importantly, it gives us, uh, well, some accessories that are pretty nice, actually. So let's see. If we go to the left, then we go to the right. Huh. Ah, there we go. Okay. Sometimes it depends left or right, but eventually, if you walk around long enough, you reveal a stairway. So let's go do that. Oh, how'd they do that? How'd they program this thing in there? Wow. That's a, an impressive feat there. Let's see. If we go to the right, it's kind of hard to see what's going on here, but you want to light that candle. That would be a good idea. So basically, turn on all the candles here. And if you're looking for, like, really good directions and text, I'd recommend uh, Shotgun Nova's walkthrough on GameFAQs. That's what I'm using. Yeah, yeah, I know. But, uh, well, I can't remember everything by myself. Every single little nitpicking detail. Uh-oh, we got these guys again, but it's a little different this time around because we've got Kina with level 5 death. But, yeah, almost every enemy... If not every enemy, I think almost every enemy around here is susceptible to level 5 death. That's why I brought Kino along. Now, you might be wondering, H.C. Bailey, why didn't you bring, like, I don't know, Amaranth along to use Chakra on Kina to restore his MP? Or maybe even equip Kina with 
half MP or the half MP ability. Well, I really want Kena to have abilities that protect him from dying instead. And Amaranth, I just think, is more useful um, in the other party there. So there you go. So yeah, just make sure to use, um, what is it? Make sure to use, um, well, whatever. Level five death on every enemy around here. Like these guys. Uh, I don't know what these guys are called, but uh, I'm gonna kill them anyway with level five death. If I can get to Kena's turn. Maybe I should have equipped him with, uh, no, no. Oh yeah, they can use freeze on you. A lot of enemies can inflict, uh, like heat or freeze. So you want to make sure you've got body temp for everyone. Yeah, for some reason, I just never got around to it with Steiner. Haven't really used them a whole lot. They can inflict poison on you, which is why I've got uh, antibody. Uh, okay, I was going to say everyone, but I guess I didn't put it on Steiner. He's a little under leveled, so poison, not too much to worry about. But I should uh, cure him of that. There we go. Waiting for them to die, taking too long. There we go. But yeah, just like the Outer Continent, the enemies here give a lot of experience. So, uh, let's see. Where is it? Ant oh, I don't need antidote. Oh, right, that was just ordinary poison. I think Venom is the one that's permanent. Kind of like Final Fantasy II. Okay, now this one's a little tricky. Uh, well, they're not really candles, but uh, light all three of these things, if I can. It kind of looks weird seeing Steiner do it for some reason. I'm just so used to uh, seeing Aiko doing it. I wonder who's leading the party if Aiko and Steiner are gone. Or whoever that third person is, if they're gone too. I don't know what the order of priority is. But anyway, we want to light this one. Or do I? Maybe I made a mistake. Okay, that does that. Oh, I see what I need to do. Okay, only light the lower left one. There we go. Yeah, okay. Then we gotta go back to get to the other side there. Um, can I make it? There we go. Let's see. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay, light these two. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see all these candles. You don't have to do absolutely all of them. I don't think. But it's a good idea because you get lots of treasure. And a lot of them you just have to in order to unlock whatever the next path is. If I can actually get Steiner down there. There we go. Okay, so lock those two. We've lit all eight of them. So let's light number nine here. Haha! -ha! And it opens the door in the upper right corner. There. What do we get on this one? We don't have paladins in this game. Well, we have, uh, what's her name? Uh, Beatrix, but I don't even know if she survived the assault of Bahamut there. Or whatever happened. Well, let's just keep on going. Pass on through here and light this candle. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to see that one. But, well, there you go. What do we get from this one? Are you going to tell me again? We get the shield armor. Well, better than a sharp stick in the eye. I've already got plenty of them. Uh, where the hell am I? Oh, there I am. So anyway, go all the way to the left here. Down then right to get up these stairs. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. This whole place is kind of tricky, but you know what? I like the atmosphere for this place with all the music and everything, and just the graphics of this area. It's so colorful. I like it. I, it's like the top. It reminds me of the Tower of Zat. Oh, this part. Um, let's see. Okay, I got it. Gotta light this one first. Yeah, there's some stairs to the right now. So let's go all the way to the top here. Um, game. Uh, ah, there it is. Okay. Oh, it's in front of him. I thought, is that in front of him or behind him? Well, anyway, we gotta raise up that bookshelf there to get over here. Let's see, grab this bloodstone that I somehow uh, activated earlier. Well, there we go. I'm trying to think of a Star Wars reference I could make here. You know, with the, the tractor beam part. Oh, well, whatever. I don't think he had any lines during that part. Okay. Wait, what does this say? Huh. Okay, well, keep that in mind. There we go. By the way, if you're running low on MP for Akina, just use one of your uh, elixirs. You, we've got plenty of them. They are not part of the Too Good to Use Club. I mean, you don't want to waste them, but, you know. Just like these two candles over here. Awesome. Not, 
immediately apparent what that does. But the Black Mage just kind of hinted at it. Oh, and we got another new enemy here. Tarama. Uh, not too annoying. At least not now. So uh, let's just get over to Kina's turn. Once again, abuse level 5 death. I have no problem abusing level 5 death. No problem whatsoever. Okay, if we can just get over to your turn, or if you want to poison me some more, that's fine too. Yeah, everyone else has antibody, but not Steiner. It's not absolutely critical, but, well, you take what you can get. I like how in Final Fantasy IX they tell you, like, whether the, the enemies are immune to something or whatever, you know, or if they're actually susceptible to it. Like, previous games, you just didn't know other than, you know, observing, you know, it's just, well, is it never working on them? Or, like, even Dragon Warrior games did that, you know? You just kind of had to do it the old-fashioned way, I guess. Okay, we're done with that. So let's go to... Might as well go to Demon's Mail. Whatever. Almost done with that. You're doing good. Oh, by the way, the boost ability makes your summons always do the long attack animation to deal more damage. At least that's what I think it does. Um, okay. Oh, I got it. Okay, if we do this... Ha! Huh, there we go. Alright. So let's see. We uh, use that. Hmm. That didn't seem to do much of anything. What? Is that a move on? What? Where'd that sound come from? Ha ha! Through a secret passage! Yeah, and we got a letter for him, so let's make sure to deliver that one. Have I gotten all the treasures so far? I think I have. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Huh, I wonder. I've heard a little bit about that, but hmm, we'll learn more about that later. Uh, let's see, I want to take a moment to uh, heal up here, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go, so let's head on over here then. Let's see, let's light all these candles. Why not? What happened to the statue? Huh, that's weird. Kind of looks different. I've never been able to quite figure that out. Or... Oh, maybe the candles are casting a shadow on it. Well, that's kind of weird. But anyway, let's grab this one. What do we get from here? Hurry up, game. Okay, we get a black hood. So, uh, let's give that to BB there. No, yeah, he's not working on anything else, so... Woo, the death spell. Not that I'm actually going to use it. But, you know... Oh, wait, hold on. Unlike this one. Yeah, that's a little tricky there. Well, at least it's... Well... Not that great in Final Fantasy XIII, either. I was going to say it's better, but, you know, it can be useful sometimes. Anyway, we want to light all these candles here. Light up the portrait there. How nice. Kind of reminds me from something from that movie, uh, what was that movie? Antitrust? Or something like that? Where, like, the picture was changing for whoever was in the house or the room or something like that. Okay, so let's grab this. I don't care what that thing said. Hurry up, and we get the Venetia Shield. Does it have anything interesting for uh, Steiner there? Oh, some new abilities. Uh, yeah, might as well. There we go. Okay, so let's unlight this left candle. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that one out. Yeah, that one's a little tricky there, but uh, well, we made it. Okay. So now let's head on our way back then. Uh, oh, this way. There you go, Steiner. I knew you could figure it out. Um, up the stairs. There we go. Okay. Well, it looks like we just got one more can candle there. But what did lighting all of these candles do? Did we disarm Kuja's trap? Can we stop Zidane from giving the Golag Stone to him? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.